The Sigmund table has a plasma nitride surface, and the Fireball has dragon scale cast iron. So to test their surfaces to the extreme, I'm going to simulate years of abuse. I'm going to set my welder to its poorest settings, generating the most spatter possible, and run a bead across a test bar that will be sitting on top of these tables. Then afterward, I'll clean up the surfaces and see which table handled this spatter the best. Before we can proceed, we want to remove anything that's on the surface of each table. Now we slide the tables together to make this test fair. This is a nitride coated and this is dragon scale. So I want to have a disclaimer. If you're going to be welding on your table, you probably should be using anti-spatter spray. The next thing, have the welder set in correctly. That way you reduce the spatter. I purposely have all of these conditions incorrect. That way we get the best torture results possible. Remember this is a torture test and we want each table to be tortured the same. What I mean by that is if I start welding on this bar at this end and I start going over to here, well eventually some of this spatter is gonna spill over. So that's not fair to take some of the brunt of the load of the spatter. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go from this edge to the center and then from that edge to the center. We're gonna split it. That way the spillover is equal on each table. So let's see which one wins, the spatter test. Okay, three, two, one, go. Oh man, this machine is set so wrong. This is the most ugliest weld I've ever seen. <laughs> you can see BBs rolling everywhere. Woo! Oh my gosh, that looks a mess. Okay, before we get too crazy, let's go to the other side. Three, two, one, go. It's interesting, I don't see the spatter rolling. It's just hitting the table and stopping. This is some serious punishment for this table. Woo! Wow, look at those results. That is a hideous weld. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is absolutely brutal. A couple things that I'm noticing is that I got off just by a skosh on my weld, so we're down a maybe a half of an inch lower from my previous test over here. Is that gonna make that big of a difference? Ah, probably not, but it's still pretty close. The other thing I'm noticing is how far out the spatter is on the fireball versus the Sigmund. The spatter is really close to the flat bar. Now we haven't wiped anything off, I'm just doing some observations here. If you look at the streak, see how far it traveled and then it stopped? I don't think it stuck, so let me just touch it. Nope, 